tree frogs. Tree frogs. Okay, let's drink some wine. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Hinchberger. And I'm Paul Hinchberger. And we are the Wine Brothers. <clears throat> Lovely Northwest, sunny afternoon, and uh, gonna be tasting some fantastic Spanish wine. So Bon Vivant Imports, who I work for, we uh, bring in Spain and I Italy. We bring in those wines. And uh, today we're tasting Rioja. You've probably heard of Rioja. It is, to me, probably the most popular region of Spain. Spain. Yes. Um, you know, classic wines. Everybody's known Rioja for a very, very long time. They became a DO, you know, denomination origin uh, uh, back in 1970. In 1991, went to a DOCA for the first time ever, uh, which is basically uh, calificada. So it's saying, hey, you're super cool. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and I think so too. Rioja is amazing. So Bodegas Las Orcas is the house that we bring in to America. And honestly, fantastic Fantastic Rioja, um, Raimundo Abando uh, and his wife Cristina. They're they're kind of the owners. They so it has been in Rai's family since 1900, 110 plus years mm -hmm. ago. They started, um, which is pretty fantastic. Um, what's what's really cool is we're gonna kind of this video we go into their Blanco, their Rosado, their Hoven, and their Crianza, and then make sure you also check out the the right. upper tier, the Reserva, the 96 Reserva, the Pagos de Valdeorca. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. But, um, so, we're gonna taste through these, talk through them, because these wines are just stunning. Now, what's very, very exciting is it's not even in the country yet, this is on the boat as we speak. So as you watch this, it could be here, who knows, I don't know. You could watch this in like four years. I don't really know. <laughs> um, but these two wines are brand new. 2010 vintage, first time ever. Oh, gotcha. So, Christina, Rye's wife, her family has also old vineyards, you know. Uh -huh. And so they were actually able to pull from family vineyards, because they're her family, for this first one. Let's, let's try the white, Paul. Okay. So this is... 65 year old vines, Vira, 100% wow. Vira. So Vira is also the same as Macabeo. Uh, Macabeo is, um, you know, one of the popular grapes of Cava, uh -huh. um, and kind of known in different parts of Spain as Macabeo and different parts as Vira. Uh, Vira is what it's known in Rioja. Right. 65 year old vines making the first time ever Bodegas Las Orcas Solar de Randes Blanco. Solo Rondes is kind of the name of the line that he produces. Right. Uh, it's the House of Rondes, which is a family name. So, sure. um, Paul, dig into this nose because I love this wine. I've had it a couple mm. times now in the recent past few weeks. Yep. Lime. Lime. You put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> no coconut, though. I didn't get coconut. No. Mm. But I wanted to sing a song. Mm. Um, uh, mm. Minerality. <clears throat> Lots of minerality. Uh, so, so while you're still assessing, you know, essentially we are in the Rioja Alavesa. Um, you know, on this on this cool map, you've got Rioja <clears throat> split into three different areas: um, Rioja Alta, Rioja Baja, and Rioja Alavesa. sits on the northern portion of Rioja, bordered to the north by the Cantabrian Mountains. So, literally, like here's a cool shot of the bodega. Uh, th those mountains in the background. That is the Cantabrian Mountains, which mm. blocks Rioja. It's kind of unique. It blocks Rioja from the from the great northern winds of Spain. They have a name called the Great Northern <laughs> Winds of Spain, because that's what they do. They're so great and they blow everything away. These guys, you know, Rioja kind of sits in this awesome little uh, V that opens up down into the Mediterranean. Mm. Uh, so the the climate climatic patterns there are super cool. Um, you know, continental with this push from Mediterranean blocked from the winds by the Cantabrian Mountains, and it's the Ebro River Valley. There's a lot of really cool things going on in a lot of different soils. Here in Rio Alavesa, uh, it is uh, calcareous clay. Um, you know, there's a lot of alluvial fans that kind of happen down in the, uh, the Alta and the Baja, mm -hmm. but in the Alavesa, a little higher up, and all within Basque country, famous Basque country, mm -hmm. Navarra, Rio Alavesa, uh, that is where these guys sit, right in where 
the the capital of that little region is called uh, LaGuardia, mm-hmm. and the old bodega actually was underneath the town of LaGuardia. In fact, here's a cool shot of underneath the town of LaGuardia in their old bodega. Wow. 1999, I think, is when they changed. So the 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 shot with the mountains in the background, that's actually their new bodega that they built right outside the city walls of LaGuardia. Hmm. So anyways, I totally went on a massive tangent, but I hope you loved it. Let's pretty get back typical, to pretty typical. Let, let's let's <laughs> get back to the uh, Blanco here. Uh, like I said, 65-year-old vine Vera lime. Yeah. Boy, that was a big tangent, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, lime um definitely that minerality like of mm-hmm. um like chalky soil. Yeah, kind of which thing. it which it is. Um, yeah. You know, it's mm-hmm. very very chalky. Oh, it's, uh, it's so fresh. It's mm-hmm. so vibrant. Like yes. this nose makes me just want to use the word vibrant. 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 <laughs> like that's what happens in me, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. It's like, um, you can smell that this is going to make you go Whoa! Yeah, like a silly is going to be racing. It's oh, going to be puckering. It's, it's going to be fantastic and ideal with food. You know that Whoa! feeling in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Eat food mm-hmm. with it, you know? So, palate. What do you got? Like you said, the great, great acidity. Mm. Cheeks are watering right now. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. And really mm. just a uh, nice, clean palate. It's got Super clean. several, like, um, it's got the lime, it's got the, not the coconut. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the clay, the, 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 the chalk. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, as far as fruits go, you know, some green apple notes in there. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but I mean, it's, it, this is mineral driven. Yeah. This is really mm-hmm. mineral driven white wine. Um, that I just think is fantastic. Yeah. Super mouth-watering, super razor beam-like acidity. Um, mm. Fantastic wine. And this is Rye's Delicious. first effort. This is his very first white he's ever made. He wow. does red wine. This is it. This is it. Love it. I'm very, very happy he did this. Pretty cool. Speaking of new little adventures, new little endeavors, right next to the Blanco is his new, brand new 2010 Rosado. Are you excited? I'm excited. I Hurry am. up. I'm, I'm oh, ready yeah. to pour. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, look at that, that color. Blunt. Yeah. So, look, you can see that color. I mean, it looks like... Um, can, can I tell you what I think of yeah, when sure. I think of this mm-hmm. color? Apologize to all the folks out there. Sex Shop Pink. Oh. Like, that is just sexy pink. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? There is nothing about that that's saying, ah, I'm innocent, I'm cute. This is like, ha, ah, you know, like lusty pink. Uh-huh. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I, I can see it. Uh-huh. And then you stick it in your nose, put it in I the nose. I was going to say bubblicious watermelon gum. I guess that's a little Too innocent. Like the G-rated <laughs> version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But smell the nose. Bubble shop, little, little bubbles blowing, it's gone. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. is... Oh, uh, the, the words, mm. I, I just shouldn't use any more words <laughs> to describe this because they might just get dirty. Mm. This mm. is so robust on the nose. Unbelievably fresh still, but it's got just this depth and this unbelievable quality of like big berries, mm. you know, huge plump, like hanging from a tree strawberries. They don't hang from trees, no. but these ones do. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. In giant land. Giant land mm. and they gush, they gush with lots of flavor. Then raspberries, but then minerality and a little bit of spice. So, 100% garnacha. Wow. I guess it, it reminded me when I thought it had some spice on it. You know, it is, it's Ooh. all garnacha fruit. Really spicy on the yeah, palate. Yeah, what, what do you got? I was getting mostly strawberry minerality on the nose, but um, mm. on the palate, it's definitely got, like, uh, white pepper, um, mm. cherry, strawberry, lots of fruit. It's... it's um, great I, i've got to say this is one of i mean if not the this is like my favorite uh rosé i've ever tasted mm. and i love rosé drink rosé as much as i possibly can and mm. when this hit when the, when the samples came in and we we were able to get some of this in our mouths i couldn't be happier this now, is for those this of is, you who don't drink a lot of rosé this is not sweet it's not white Zinfandel. This is not pink it's, blush, uh, which is getting out. You know what? That's the, the fat is, is gone. It you is. Know? I just wanted to make sure that everyone understood that. Fair enough. Just in Fair case. enough. Dry, dry rosé. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spicy, opulent, rich, sexual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. Let's move on to the reds. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm, that's good. It's really good. So, moving on to um, you know, kind of the bulk of what Raimundo's always done, and that is his red production. This is the Solar de Randes Hoven. Hoven means young. Uh, it essentially means that it's not aged enough to be, you know, Crianza or something something bigger. So, this is Hoven. This is seen no oak aging. This is 90% Tempranillo, 10% Garnacha. So, he does put a little bit of Garnacha in this. Uh, a little bit of carbonic maceration, which is fairly typical in Rioja for the young Hoven wines, because they're that. super fresh. Mm -hmm. This bottle we're tasting is 2009. Paul, spick it, mm. spick it, spill it. It's uh, speak it, speak and spill. Smells delicious. Oh. It's really fresh <laughs> and fruity, um, but spicy at the same mm. time. It's it's definitely got an earthy characteristic, which is always pleasant to have in a fresh wine mm. because it's not just big fruit and, mm. and over the top fruit it's nice to have that balance of earth and fruit and this definitely does I'm telling you find these wines Bodegas Las Orcas to me is one of the mm. greatest Rioja producers and very very small not very known sustainable practices very little you know no pesticides um, done by hand mm. very little filtration um Raimundo was just doing such good work, and this Hoven will blow your socks off. Yeah, it's still going on. It's, I mean, like this it's this is this is unbelievable Rioja. Wow. No oak, boom, boom, boom. You ready for this? Twelve bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Blanco Rosado Hoven, twelve bucks across the board. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably fresh, so vibrant, so full of character, so full of Rioja. <laughs> Arr. I'm like a lion. Mm. That should be Rioja's new uh, slogan. Actually. So full of Rioja. So full of Rioja. Actually, their slogan's like <laughs> pure genius. Yeah. Which is pure genius. Are you saying? Let's, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get on to the Crianza. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Seriously, I don't even need to talk to you about earth and fruit and all that. That wine is so balanced, so stinking, remarkably built that um, I'm ready to drink the next one. <laughs> so this is now the Crianza um, Crianza, you've heard of that word You know, Crianza is basically an aging requirement In Rioja, Crianzas must see two years of age At least one, um, one in year in, in, in barrel In barrel, yeah um, This is seen 13 months in mixed barrels uh, Half American, half French mm. So 2006 Crianza I love... Oh. I love that that's kind of his current vintage. Uh, 2006 mm. is what we are selling in America right now, which is awesome. You know, you're not you're not drinking 2008 Crianza. Mm. It's got more age on it. It's got more depth. Mm. Paul, what do you got? Once again, spicy. It's like, you got this delicious, uh, spicy, brambly note that I love. Um, mm. Big cherry. Uh, Kissed with oak. Kiss with oak, yes. Both the French, mm -hmm. you know, which is a little tighter grain, has that really, really nice complexity to it. Then a little bit of American, a little bit of that pickle barrel, a mm -hmm. little bit of that coconut, which is signature in Rioja. Mm -hmm. um, just the absolute grace with everything Rye does, I think is awesome. So from the Blanco to the Rosado to the Hoven to the Crianza, unbelievable wines. Bodegas Las Orcas, Rioja Aravesa in northern Spain, right underneath the shadows of Cantabrian mountains. Unbelievably and stunning wines. Um, make sure to check out their higher end wines. We wanted to break this video up so you kind of have these guys. Oh, by the way, six, uh, like $18, $19 on a shelf. So 12 bucks, Beautiful. 18 19 mm -hmm. Unbelievable values for what for what Raimundo gives you. Um, check so out the next video check out the next mind video. mind-blowing reviews. Mind-blowing. 96 mm -hmm. Reserva, 01 Reserva, and then the Hundred year old oh, yeah. vine pre phylloxera Pagos de Valdiarca. Cheers, everyone. Salute. Mm -hmm.